Some of you probably wonder, what are some of the best types of cybersecurity skill sets to build for remote work? And what types of work roles in cybersecurity in general work well for remote work? Let's talk about it. All right, if you're new to my channel, this is Ask Nate O'Reilly. I'm Nato, and you ask me cybersecurity questions, and I make a video giving you an answer from me. I've been working in the cybersecurity space for quite some time. So, with that being said, let's talk about what types of roles work well in cybersecurity for remote work. So, consulting. I, I've said this in other videos. If you want to travel a lot and have a lot of travel opportunities where your company pays for your travel and you have traveling gigs and potentially you want to get into international work, consider looking for a professional services or a cybersecurity consulting job that includes travel. And you can always ask the people you're talking to, does this job include travel? If they say yes, then you found the job. Now, other types of skills and things that are very helpful. Software engineering. Software engineering is an outstanding skill set to develop for being a remote cybersecurity professional because there are plenty of remote software engineering jobs and there are plenty of cybersecurity software companies that create cybersecurity software. And the more specialized you are, usually the higher in demand you are. So being a software engineer is great and you can make lots of money in the six figures. And if you are specialized as a cybersecurity software engineer, then you're extra specialized. And now you're going to be in higher demand because there aren't as many cybersecurity software engineers as there are software engineers. As a matter of fact, there aren't even enough cybersecurity professionals to begin with. So specialize. And software engineering allows you to just take projects. You don't even have to have the internet while you're coding half the time, depending on what you're doing. Some remote coding jobs require you to connect to a remote server constantly, so you might have to have the internet still, but it's an outstanding option for the type of role that works very well remotely. Now, penetration testing is a sometimes very good option for doing remote work. As if you're trying to do cybersecurity bounties, if you go and look for different projects and penetration projects that you are posted online. For example, Nintendo at one point posted, you know, if you can provide reports on some vulnerabilities and whatnot, then we'll go ahead and pay you a bounty. And Sony's done things like that and other companies you just you can be a penetration testing bounty hunter and that's more or less remote work. It's closer to contract work and freelancing but it is remote work. Also, if you're working for a company that has internal audit and things of that nature, penetration testing is something that is very necessary, incredibly necessary in companies that have what's called internal audit teams, or if they just have audit requirements and needs in general, a lot of companies are doing penetration testing these days. And if you are a penetration tester, depending on the company, you can do that job remotely. And that's something that you can not have to worry about going into an office for. If you are a lab analyst and you just collect data samples or a data scientist and you just once again collect data science or d collect data samples and structure them and build reports and submit those reports, data science and analytics are great skill sets to build for doing remote work. So if you want to come up with some remote skill sets, probably the more Cody ones where you can sit and do this for hours in the darkness. Those are probably some of the best remote types of jobs. And then consulting being a very good one for people who want to be a little more social and want to have remote opportunities where they get to talk to people constantly. And there are also at home help desk jobs. So if you're entry level and you just want to find a remote job that pays 30, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars a year you can be remote help desk and you can just do help desk and it works and you get paid for it and you don't have to go to an office but you have to be on the phone all day and if you like talking to people and you don't want to be a consultant or don't qualify to be a consultant you can do that and you can do it anywhere 
You can do it anywhere in the world. Support desk is a wonderful thing for people who are good at it. And I appreciate good people when I call and get support because no one likes to talk to the grumpy, awful support person. They're the worst. Anyways, I don't know. I just feel depressed for them half the time because I'm like, oh, this person hates their day. They hate their life. And apparently they hate me too. And I understand because I would hate me too if I had that job. That sounds mean. No, it's just that some some remote jobs are better than others. There are genuinely some really good remote help desk jobs. Um, you can make ninety thousand dollars working remote help desk, so it's not it's not a bad job, and I shouldn't diss it or make fun of it. It's a genuine skill set that can be developed, and just being a really advanced support specialist, that's also just an outstanding remote opportunity. So you can be a remote freelancer or be your own like self-employed consultant. That's one of the easiest ways to be remote for any job. So if you just wanna self-employ yourself, just cybersecurity consulting. Cybersecurity consulting for yourself and set up a website or something along those lines and set up an, a marketing funnel. You'll have to Google how to set up marketing funnels and things like that just so you can get attention get people coming in and, and provide one very specific thing. If you're not specific when you're trying to be a consultant, no one will know what you provide and so people won't reach out to you because people reach out to people who are specific and it's like, I install SIM software for companies. Okay, great. If you are a person who installs SIM software for companies for cybersecurity, then people will reach out to you when they want exactly that and you will get customers. But if you're like, I do all cybersecurity things, that's too broad and people will just get confused and they don't know what that means in the first place and people who are searching for something specific aren't gonna find you because they're searching for something very specific. So you don't wanna be broad if you're trying to do your own thing. You wanna be very specific. The less the better. One thing, the same thing over and over again for all your clients. And another thing you can do is you can be a remote salesperson, remote sales engineer, sales jobs, remote sales jobs are great. Um, you can also just be a person who does contract sales. You don't even have to be an employee to do sales. A lot of companies will just let you get commissions. If you just like call up like, hey, can I just help you guys get customers and can we sign an agreement that says if I get certain sales that I get a percentage? And a lot of companies will just say, yeah, because it's like, oh, you. We don't even have to give you a base salary. You just want to take a, a large chunk back if you get sales, like a 30% commission. It's a high commission, but you know if they don't have to pay you a salary, that's pretty easy to do. And they're not going to lose money. on If anything, they're just going to make more money by you being available to help sell things. So there's just a lot of options for sales. So not sales, remote cybersecurity work. So very good question. All the questions are good. I know one of the remote videos was very confusing because I was confused when I was watching it myself. So hopefully this video is a lot more straightforward and a lot less confusing for everyone. So hopefully this is helpful. Ask more questions. Subscribe if you like my content. And once again, if someone watches all my videos who doesn't like my content, that's weird. I don't know why you would do that. So stop wasting your time if you're that person and go play jump rope, go for a run and uh, eat some snicker bars or something. I don't know. Eat something good. Food's good. I like food. You probably do too. I hope you do. I hope all of you like food. Anyways, I do have a cybersecurity qualifications guide for those of you who are interested in trying to see do, if you qualify for a cybersecurity job right now. If you go to the link below, that will take you to a page where you can enter in your email where I will then allow you to securely download the guide so that you can figure out what types of cybersecurity jobs you might already qualify for. Go get it. Go get a job.